Hello guys, it's Lupex back on how to build car fair tutorial part 2 and on today's video we are going to do super shock for the upper part of this ferry and I'm sorry for not uploading in a while because I've been kinda busy and I forgot to say in the last video thank you so much for 400 subscribers I was actually going to say it in the last video but I actually forgot to say it so I'm sorry for that so if you see I haven't made a plan because I actually tried to make this part kind of a lot, lot of times but I messed up because I pre-built it and it was super hard to pre-build a car ferry and I'm not gonna try that again so in the last episode we actually made this whole section I suggest removing this propeller here because it looks pretty ugly so I suggest removing the off or the propeller that's back here if you still have it so we can start on so if you remember that we actually have like a blue central line at the at the bottom you actually can move up to the tall section and actually put it here so it will be easy to actually know where to stop so I'm just gonna do that to make it kind of more simpler so we can go back to the deck plans and I'm just gonna sign these off and actually show you what these, they mean so this whole big deck if you see this is a big deck uh, we'll just mark it with blue this will be uh, the engine room deck and it will be deck one, so engine, engine, room. and if you see this small deck will be the start of the car deck, so deck two will be car deck, car deck, I'm just inside because it's kinda inside the car deck, so yeah, I'm just gonna do this, and if you see here's three blocks, this will be the deck three car deck out so that will be there another car deck but they're still in the same area in the next video we will do the car deck so I'll explain it more deck 4 will be the lounge because it's kind of this is a big pair so this pair needs a lounge deck 5 will be the crew and for deck 6 I will actually add another deck here because I think it look, will look better with another deck. So we'll just make another deck, like a two block deck. Ubel deck 6 will be crew. And deck 7 will be, will be bridge. So something like that. Pretty cool. So if you see, we will do it again. Down here is the engine room. Here is the car deck. Another car deck. But you actually just can do this, but I will do this. have a block like there for more reference. Here actually we'll start the bow, deck 4 will be the lounge, deck 6 and 5 will be the crew and deck 7 will be the bridge. So I will move forward to here and you know what, for easier preferences I will actually copy this and paste it right in the central line so it will be a bit of a guide for me. You actually can do this yourself, I suggest doing this so you don't mess up while building this car ferry. So yeah I'm just going to paste this right here. Perfect. So if you see here will the lounge deck start so I'm just gonna mark this area that yeah. So if you see the lounge deck will start right there. So we can just do something like this. Not not if you see I just made like a small line, then I'm going to begin curving downward. I suggest using like slabs here because it looks pretty cool with slabs. So I will do from the blue central line I will do 16 out then one two three four out with slabs go down block one two three four one two three four one two three four and one two three four something like that then if you see we have a small curve so we can just fill this area in with your block of white choice uh, my block of choice is smooth quartz because i like the smooth quartz with that with smooth Porch, just like that you just fill this area in pretty cool if you ask me so if you see now we will start on the lounge deck I'm just gonna move this back so my OCD don't kill me here so move back by one so it will be actually centered so if you see from this edge that is how many blocks out 16 blocks from the center line if you see 16 blocks I will actually make 
a straight line you can see right there to the key line if you don't know what the key line is it's just the center the mid of the ship if you see here's the center line the key line and here's the midpoint so this the red part is the keel the blue part is the mid so try to find the key line um i think mine is right here you actually need to check because if you see the bow will actually point this block will actually show the key line so if i just go forward up and yep that's the key line we will do like this and yeah i will just mark this with red that this is the key line So from here, I will if you see there is one, two, three blocks here. Go back with another three. Then from here, do like this. And if you're wondering why, it just make a like small design, and it will look pretty cool at the end. So yeah, now switch to clay because clay looks pretty cool. You can use green terracotta or blue concrete, but I like to use clay. At the floor, if you see the floor, go back with three, yes, three. Go back like here. And if you see, we don't have a lot of space here, so I'm just gonna move this whole front section by 10 blocks. So move with 10. God damn it. Undo. So if you see, we have kind of more of a space now. So we can just fill this here, in here, so if you see, set with smooth course. So from the blue center line, the blue center line, it will be 26 blocks long from the blue center line. So I'm sorry for doing that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just do five blocks because I think it will look better with five than just three. So, yeah, we're just gonna copy this, so 1, to 3 from the red key line, 2, then 1, just like this, because here will be like the door, I guess. So, right here will be the door, if you're wondering why I did that. So we can just fill this in with clay. I suggest you also filling this in with clay, because it will look pretty cool. So filling this area in with clay. If you don't have warlit it, it will be kind of hard to pull this ferry because you need a lot of warlit it when you are pulling this ferry. If you want, I actually can try to make a car ferry without warlit it, but it's super hard for me. So yeah, take a black stained glass and just go out by three. Skip two by three. And from here, it will be like this. So then put fill it in with. The black thing lost just like this and it will do be have like a it will be like a small view the passengers can have when they're sailing on her because this ferry really doesn't have like a really short trip it will have like maybe 50, 45 minutes to be kind of long so it will be really fun to have like a really good view here will be the door i will just add the door in i will use iron door because i think it looks pretty cool with iron doors and with a uh, small button because they actually have buttons here to open the doors. So I will actually make if you see from this here that is 13 blocks from the center line, it will be this wall. So if you see something like this, this will be one five, then you can see yourself. <laughs> So from here I will do 2, 2, 2, 2, and 2, or never mind, I will just do 1, 1, 1, because 2 was too much. Just like this, if you see, boom. And it will just add like a small design I guess, so it won't be just straight up, because making it just straight up would look pretty weird, so yeah. Now is to add the windows, so I will do with three. Maybe see, this is a three window. Three. And I will just fill this area in with blocks.
And yeah, this fairy has a really small lounge. I just realized how small the lounge will be. So yeah, it will be kind of a problem, but yeah, she is a pretty decent sized fairy, so yeah. It won't really be a problem. So from this deck, we will just use the same here. Exactly the same. But we will add these small details, I guess. Like, I don't know what to call them, but... The sunshades, I guess. I will just call them the sunshades, but they aren't called the sunshades. But they will just shade this area off, and it will look... Like, it has just a small touch to it, and it will look pretty cool. So a small touch to it. So, by the way, I will actually add a staircase here. So, right from here. A staircase will go down. A small staircase will go up, I mean. So, use clay. Go all the way. Go from that block. It will be seven blocks back. Do, or six, I mean. Go three out. Three out, then go straight in like this. Because here will be the crew decks, by the way. I forgot to say that. I'm sorry. So, yeah, here it will be two blocks out like this. I'm going to take my smooth stairs to make the structure here. So, up with one block. Take your smooth stair and up with one more block. I'll just cut this block out so it will look like this. So yeah, we can just add these blocks here, these stairs, with the pattern, maybe see. I forgot to take this down. So, just like this. And now it's just to add like these small windows here, because I think it look, needs quite a lot of windows. So I will add a door here, obviously. So, a door, window. Window. So in here will be the cabins for the crew, not the passenger, because this fair does need passenger cabins. So yeah, we can move one more deck up to make the another crew deck. Here could be the navigational equipment. I don't know what those are. I think like mappings and stuff, but I don't know the right language for it. So yeah. Passengers can't like enter this deck because it's prohibited, I guess. So yeah, we will add again block stair and another stair, just like this. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not gonna lie. So just like this. We will add our door at the other side because we are going to add a staircase. I'm going to show it later how to do that, so yeah. Add another window right there. And up here will be the bridge. So, the bridge... I will make it from this block. I will just mark this out with red, so here to here. This will be how, will how where, where the bridge will be. So, yeah, we can just fill this area in with this block. Black glass out with one, but not a 90 degrees like this for five, but just like this because it won't be too sh like sharp, I guess. So it will be perfect. So we can add a door here actually. Here it will be a door that looks awfully small. I'm so sorry. Okay, I will just move this with one, so move with one. So it will be a bit more space, so it looks a bit more better, I guess. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pulling this like that. And crap, I forgot to mark this area in. Crap. Oh, wow. I was dumb there. I, I, was dumb there. I forgot to mark this area in. So just like this. Boom. So, yeah, if you see, this is the bridge. Or the superstructure so far. Uh, I'm just going to try to remember what I did in the last. I'm just going to check what I did here because I actually forgot. Oh wow 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 wow! I, I finally fo find, found out. This should be blocks, not 
Yeah, it looks much better now. Thick paints, white paints, I suggest them. Just like this to make these boards, I guess, to make it really cool. It has a small design. Maybe slabs here. Yes, slabs will do. I'm just. Nah, it looks fine. Fill this area in with clay, so fill with clay 40. If the boom, it's filled. Yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. Take iron bars and iron trap drawers and just round this area up with them. So, if the take your wand. Because if you see this blocks won't connect, so I'm just gonna mm, stack it. But with one, so it looks like it will actually connect with the block, but it not because it, because it's a slab there. Pretty hard to explain, but yeah, it's just something you can do with wallet. So if you don't have wallet, I'm sorry, but you can't do that. I will actually. I think I'm actually going to move like move this with one block because if you see this area is too open because. Yeah, so I'm just gonna move this booth with one block again. I'm so sorry guys. We have to change a lot of things, but in ship building you will change a lot of things. Like when you when you are building ships on in Minecraft, yeah, sometimes you, you will actually just build a new ship when you because sometimes I actually build a, a, like a like a ship, like a cruise ship. Then the day later I will uh, rebuild it everything to make it much better. So. Yeah, just make a small adjustment. I suggest doing that. So yeah, um, what can I do? What can I do? I'm trying to think. So I think it will. It's it's fine like this. I will actually take a slab. Uh, on a normal ferries, you can see like the roof that is red, orange, sometimes gray or sometimes blue i will actually try with the blue because i have done it with a while i will have warped i've never used it block so it will be pretty fun for me i will warp planks and warp slabs i really like the color i must say it has a really weird feeling to it but i like it just like this just like that if you see sunshades i guess they're not called sunshades i know that but I call them that. <laughs> Pretty weird to call them sunshades. So yeah, um, more details I can add is this maybe yes. So more of these railings because they are really important on ships. If you haven't noticed that, because people can fall out or some people will fall out to just make the cruise line go bankrupt. So don't do that. Uh, so yeah. And I will just do this. I know that nobody can enter it, but yeah, I just need to do that to make it look good, I guess. So have like this. But in fact, I'm just gonna copy this corner right here. Come on. Co copy. Paste. Okay, never mind. Undo. Do this. Boom, boom. Wow. Shroom. And yeah, it just adds like a small detail to it. That's what uh, we are aiming for to add just a small detail. So, if you see the car fair looks pretty decent. Not the best, not the worst. So, we can add more of these trap doors and these railings to the ship I'm just gonna use wallet because it's pretty frustrating to pull <laughs> these railings so yeah set with uh, iron iron trap doors right just doing this and you know what I'm just gonna remove this section it just looks too blocky in my opinion so yeah Adding these finals in. Just like that, boom. 
we have railings now on this kind of small car ferry. I'm actually going to use take spruce slabs, then spruce trapdoors, then spruce sign because we're actually going to make some seatings here so people can sit outside and have a small drink, eat something, have fun, I guess. So these small benches here, I guess. These are pretty cool benches. So another set of benches here. You know what? I'm going to make them a bit smaller. Just like that. So one bench here and another bench up here. I know it's kind of not that much benches because we can't really have a lot of benches here. But it's pretty important to have these benches because it just has a small detail to it, I guess. You know what, I'll just add another bench here. I know it sometimes will look too crowded if you add too many benches. But just don't overdo it. So yeah. Yeah, we have something. I'm just gonna add a uh, small fire hydrant here. So heads with hydrant. Fire. Oh, good. The fire hydrant. There it is. So this is the fire hydrant. Uh, we can add another one up here and another one up here. You need kind of them because they're pretty important on a car ferry. Take andesite walls, then take head with trash can because these are obviously trash can crans. If you don't worry it, you can actually use skeleton skulls. They look also good, but I won't suggest using them. So you see one trash can here, another trash can right here. So people don't throw the trash outside of the ship. So I think I'm ready to flip it. What it has happened here? I don't know, I'm sorry about that. So to flip the ship, I will show you if you have noticed already. Go to the key line, to the bottom, the center bottom, copy this move up to the most corner i will do this here because it's actually at the center and the most cornered go to the middle i will show where the middle is this line here this one right there look at the ship copy look at the side you want to flip it in so flip don't move paste i like that there you have the car ferry uh, yeah it looks pretty cool i would say that not the big car ferry at anyways or ever if you see there is some benches here so if you think you we're, we're finished no you're not we're not finished we need to make staircases up to this deck so remove this door add a door here because here will be the staircases up to the bridge yes they need a staircase up to the bridge just like this there will be another door here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put all of the doors in now. So I don't need to do it again. Again, iron doors because they look amazing. Iron doors look fabulous. Another Yes, this door works. Then this door also works. Pretty cool. Uh I will add another staircase. I will remove this door by the way. Actually I will continue with the bridge. Do it like that. And another door right here. There I will remove this. So we see another way into the bridge. There's no way I can put the button so I will just it will be buttonless. So I will just do this. Mm, what else can I add? What else can we add? Ooh. It looks pretty cool. I'm afraid that the bridge is too big now. Because when I flip it will be kind of long. But it won't be a big problem to be honest. Uh, so I think we are ready to flip the ship. To this side. So yeah. Oh I forgot to make the funnel. Because this these ships actually has a funnel. So. For the funnel, I will do black and blue, why not? 
of the terracotta. So I'll just make the funnel right here. Three blocks up. These sets of blocks, heads, then pot. Then take the grey pot here, if I find it. Yes. No, the vase I mean, because they actually look like they actually have like these pipes. And I will add just two light blue buttons or sign buttons. Come on. Just like this. And if you don't have wall edit or available to custom head, just use wall bots. I will use the real like these pots, but don't build another funnel here because they just have it on one side. So yeah. We will now flip the ship to that side. If you're wondering how, I will show it right now. The blue line, the most furthest point is right here, the blue line. I will actually make it to this side actually. So the blue line here. Fly to the other side at the tip. I will actually use this as the tip. Go forward. Here, if the under another deck is right there, fly up to the top of this thing. Position two. Fly back to the blue line, the blue line at the center or the middle. Look forward at the blue line. Copy. Look at the other side where there's nothing. Flip, then paste. And just like that, we have flipped the ship. So you see, it looks pretty cool, I must say that. It has quite a lot of details. I'm just going to remove some of these fire hydrants, because I think I overdid it. And yeah, you actually can overdo it with fire hydrant sometimes. So yeah, looks pretty cool. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. <laughs> I think I'm going to make this bridge a bit small, because if you see, it's kind of thick or wide or long I mean so I'm just gonna do it right now you don't need to do it but I will move yep right there and wait what's uh, this block yes this block no Wait, what? Okay. Where? Move. Just like that. And remove these. And I just did that to make it a bit, like, not as wide as before because... Yeah, it, it's a big, it's a perf, it's a good size now. I want it perfect, but it's a good size for a bitch. Um, so yeah. So that's basically it for this video. In the next video, we will start on the card deck. See, here will be the card deck. Pretty big card deck, actually. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please like, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye!